Hello fifth graders, welcome to lesson 1.7. Today's lesson is to multiply by two digit numbers. Please pause now to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's lesson objective is to multiply by two digit numbers. Please pause again to write the objective in your notebook. All right, fifth graders, this lesson, like the previous lesson, should be a little bit of a review. We're going to be multiplying by two digit numbers. But today, instead of using our magic zero to multiply two digit numbers, we're going to be using a method called partial products. We know that the word product means that we're going to multiply and partial means a part. So we're going to multiply one part at a time. Let's practice this by beginning with our unlock the problem. It says, a tiger can eat as much as 40 pounds of food at one time, but it may go for several days without eating. Suppose a Siberian tiger in the wild eats an average of 18 pounds of food per day. How much food will he eat in 28 days? So let's start by underlining our problem. We need to know how much food he will eat in 28 days if he eats the average amount of food each day. Our numbers are 28 and 18, and this word each tells us that we're going to multiply. So we're going to multiply 28 by 18. Our first step is we're going to estimate, so we know if our answer is reasonable. We're going to round 28 to 30 and 18 to 20 to give us a nice easy number to estimate. If we pull out our basic fact out of this problem, three times two is six, and then both 30 and 20 have a zero, so we're gonna add both zeros onto our estimate. So 20 times 30 is going to be about 600. So we predict that a tiger can eat about 600 pounds of food in 28 days. Let's go ahead and start by multiplying. Now, this may look like your average multiplying problem, and it could be solved that way with a magic zero. But for today's lesson, we're going to practice with what we call partial products. So instead of multiplying 8 times 8, like we would normally do, we're going to multiply 28 times 8. We're going to multiply the whole number on the top by the ones column on the bottom. So let's do that to the side. 28 times 8. So 8 times 8 is 64, and 8 times 2 is 16, plus 6 is 22. So that means that our first number here is 224. Now, in order to continue multiplying by our tens, we're going to rewrite our 224. And I apologize, mine doesn't quite fit in the box. And then we're going to multiply by the tens. So we're going to multiply 28, the top number, by 10, which is the bottom number. So we would get 8 times 0 is 0. 2 times 0 is 0. Here's our magic 0. 1 times 8 is 8. And 1 times 2 is 2. So we get 280, so we have 280, and then we're going to add those two numbers together. So 224 plus 280, and then we're going to add. So 4 plus 0 is 4. 2 plus 8 is 10, 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So we get the number 504. Now this is a little ways off from our original estimate, but it's not so far off that we would consider it wrong. For the sake of practice, to the side, let's multiply the standard way. So if we, ha so if we have 28, times 18, the first thing we would do is multiply by the 8. So 8 times 8 is 64. Then we multiply 8 times 2 is 16, plus 2 gives us 22. Notice that's the same number we got over here. 
The only difference is that in the standard way, we would add a magic zero and continue on. One times eight is eight. One times two is two. Look, there's our 280. Again, we got the same numbers. We just broke it apart into partial products. Then we add them together. Four plus zero is four. Eight plus two is 10, carry the one. Two plus two is four plus one is five. So we get the same number. The, remember that sometimes in math, there's more than one way to solve a problem, and it's what works best for your brain. So I want you to practice this partial products method, but you can use the standard way to check your answers. Great job on your flip lesson so far. We're ready for our lesson activity. Today's lesson activity is to estimate and then solve. So today we're estimating 76 times 45. If we're going to do our partial products way, we're going to break it down into 76 times 5 and 76 times 40. So we're breaking apart each place value. You can try it this way, and you can also try it with the standard way. Estimate first, and then solve. Make sure that you do this in your math notebook. Great job.